alleged cyber kidnapping in Utah. A Chinese exchange student who was reported missing last week was found cold and alone after his parents say they paid thousands of dollars in ransom money. Eva Pilgrim is here with that story. Good morning, Eva. Good morning, Lindsay. A harrowing experience for this high school student, the victim of a disturbing new trend authorities are calling cyber kidnapping, where foreign exchange students and their parents are targeted and then told they must pay a ransom for their child's safe return. This morning, a 17-year-old Chinese exchange student discovered camping in the woods in Utah, cold and alone. Now safe and reunited with his host family after police say he was the latest victim of a fraud called cyber kidnapping. Kai Zhang was first reported abducted by his family in China on December 28th after they received a photo that showed their son, who was in the U.S. to experience life at an American high school, had been kidnapped. His parents sent 80,000 to bank accounts in China to pay his ransom. But it turned out the family were victims of a cyber kidnapping scam, where kidnappers target foreign exchange students and their families, telling each that the other is in danger. They then convince the student to isolate themselves and send pictures or cell phone videos, making it appear they're being held captive to their parents, who in turn hand over ransom money electronically. Actors are able to manipulate both a victim and their family into believing that something has happened to the victim. Experts say these criminals are cunning, likely targeting people who are out of their element, people who are new to the country and are unfamiliar with law enforcement. After paying the ransom, Kai's parents notified his Utah high school, who contacted local police and Kai's host family, who said there was no evidence he had been forcibly removed from the home. The reason why they have him seclude himself in the woods or away from somebody, everybody in society, is so they can continue to extort as much money as possible. Cyber kidnapping scams can be a lesson to families of kids studying or even working abroad. This is a possibility, and just because somebody contacts you online doesn't mean it's real. And authorities believe the kidnappers were manipulating and controlling Kai as early as December 20th, eight days before he disappeared, guys. I mean, wow, what a scam that is. Thank you so much for that, Eva. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.